Prescott Van Meyer III, sommelier from home. Today, well, we're doing another episode in our Malort Mixology. We're making an espresso martini, which makes me feel especially cool. It's vegan leather. It's not real. I got it on Amazon for less than $60. Anyways, a normal espresso martini is going to have vodka, Kahlua, some espresso, of course, and a little bit of simple syrup to sweeten it up. Well, we are exchanging the Kahlua with our Malort. But this is the Malort that was given to us by Roasty Buds. That's right. This is Malort infused with Carolina Reaper laced coffee. So it'll be spicy and Malorty. And why did I think this was a good idea? I didn't. It was your idea in the comments. And that one shot I did of the Carolina Reaper coffee and Malort, well, it did very well on the algorithm. So gonna keep milking this cow till it runs dry. And I'm hoping it runs dry soon. Not if it keeps getting those views. Woo! <laughs> Ready to keep going. Normally what we have in the recipe is an ounce and a half of vodka. We're doing again an ounce and a half of the Malort infused with Carolina Reaper coffee. Simple syrup and our espresso right here. Now I know what you're gonna say if you're watching from home, an espresso martini uses espresso, and this is not espresso, this is just particularly strong coffee. Well, I don't have an espresso machine here, okay? Nor can I get one to operate within my vehicle. So I found a few in dumpsters, and uh, they seem to work when I plug them in at Starbucks. Obviously they ask me to leave. <laughs> so they work okay, but uh, you know, just can't pull enough on my car. The amperage is not enough. All right, well, let's get to making this espresso martini. First, ounce and a half of vodka. That is two ounces. Ugh. Recipe normally calls for half an ounce of simple syrup, but because I'm replacing the Kahlua, with the Carolina Reaper coffee Malort, and there's no sweetener in that. I'm gonna up the simple syrup just a little bit to one full ounce. So for you purists out there, relax. It'll still taste terrible. And one ounce of very strong coffee. It's not espresso, I get it. And I'm not gonna stir it, I'm gonna shake it. Shakey shake. Oof, I can smell that Carolina Reaper. <coughs> I can smell that Carolina Reaper. It's hitting my eye. Well, not a bad looking martini if I do say so myself. <sighs> hey. It is hot. It is hot. It's got, it's got the juice. <clears throat> it's got the juice. The Carolina Reaper juice. However, adding the simple syrup, the spiciness of the Carolina Reaper and the coffee, I can taste a little bit of Malort on the back end, as they say. Certainly feeling that saliva starting to work again in my mouth, but this is actually really, really nice. This is pretty good. Holy shit. Mm. That is intense. <laughs> yeah, it does get all that stuff going. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. <clears throat> Caroline Reaper, it's really, you know, I apologize for making those noises. It's a little gross. It's a little gross and I'm very sorry, but that is very good. That's actually very tasty. Kicking up the simple syrup, that was obviously a good choice. I gotta say that that's, that is nice. The coffee and the Malort, their bitterness kind of just uh, fused together. Not that the coffee is bitter. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is that the, the normal Malort bitterness is just kind of dissipated by the flavor of the coffee, the presence of the sugar. Obviously the spice in the coffee have such a dominant force in this drink. 
that uh, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to this drink. It stings a little bit, but it's a, it's a sting you want to keep chasing. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of a spank there, but if you like being spanked, this is the drink for you. The flavor, very nice. Very nice indeed. Prescott recommends. <laughs> well, I just want to say to the people who commented, espresso martini, well done. I maybe have thrown a little shade at you at the beginning of the episode, but uh, you've created a cocktail here that is uh, it's pretty damn good. <laughs>